what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, going to bring you a very popular song right now. And uh, Jason Mraz is actually local and lives near me um, on his avocado farm. So anyway, we'll break this one down. I'll zoom in, show you the chords, work on that kind of reggae-ish, ish-ish rhythm. And also, let me know what you'd like to learn. Leave a comment below and let me know, uh, you know, song requests. I take them, I read them. And please subscribe to this new channel of mine. Take this new journey, the next chapter. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, anyway, enough of that. Let's zoom in, break this one down. Here we go. All right, so we got the capo on the fourth fret. So we got to, you know, I'm going to try and give you a, a semi-beginner version of this song. When you play this with bar chords, you, it's easier to... Or you can get a better reggae kind of chucking sound, but we'll still work on that same rhythm, but we're going to do it with uh, the open chords and the capo on the fourth fret. So this song is the same chord progression over and over. Um, there's one little turnaround chord, but it's not a hard chord. And then there is a bridge section um, that's kind of the same thing, but the chords go by faster. It's a little different. But anyway, let's work with the main part of the song. E minor and a C E E G D E minor C And so the G, I like three, two, ring finger on the three, pinky on the three, the high E. Then we got the classic D chord. And then E minor, and I'm going to use my middle and ring because it's easier to transition to the C. And that's the, basically the whole song except for a couple little things. So that one little bink, the little twist, uh, the turn, kind of a little turnaround chord there, anticipation chord, or whatever you want to call it, is an A7. And it's the second fret on the D, the middle finger, and second fret on the B with the ring finger. Just like that. Okay. And so there is a bridge section, and don't worry, I'm going to show you that kind of reggae kind of style strumming with the open chords. We'll do our best with it, but let me show you the bridge real quick. It just happens in the middle of the song, instead of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, you know, that's the verse. Instead, it's one, two. So what happens is it's G and the D, but we want a little bass line that's going. And so by doing that, we have the G, and then when we go to the D, 
I'm wrapping my thumb around the second fret of the low E. And then the E minor. Then a regular D. Then a C. Then A7. So. So the C is twice as long as the other chords. So I'm doing a, I'm doing down ups, down ups, and it's like this kind of, uh, so I'm hitting kind of the bass note or the lower notes, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. And what I'm doing is I'm getting a lot of palm muting percussive vibe with my right palm, letting the strings vibrate under that right hand there. As opposed to... Getting the palm into the strings, feeling it vibrate underneath. Try the bridge. That's all she wrote, folks. Anyway, thanks a lot for uh, hanging out with the lesson. Uh, let me know what l songs you'd like to learn by leaving comments, liking the video, subscribing to the new channel, going to my Facebook, going to my Instagram, going to the this and the that. Sorry. Too much coffee, I guess. So anyway, hope to see you again real soon, and I can't wait. See you later.